Uh, hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing, and um, you guys, uh, everybody seemed to like when I did the uh, the videos on my racks and how I have everything set up here, all the baits I got set up, so I thought I haven't shown you guys everything I've got in boxes on these, uh, these metal shelves over here, so I thought I'd kind of clean them out, and then as I was cleaning them out, I said, you know what, let me do a video, and I'll just kind of do one video probably for each shelf for this video will be, as you can see, you know, five hours long, <laughs> so... On this bottom uh, shelf here of the of the metal rack, I had mostly worms and finesse baits. Now, there might be some other stuff kind of mixed in, and there might be other things of the same mixed in here. I don't have everything completely organized on there. And there is some boxes up in the garage and on the boat and stuff, but I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I have down here, and then I'll show you what's in the boat now. So, like I said, most of this is worms um, and finesse baits, so I've just kind of figured I'd put them out on the floor and organize them and then kind of show you what they are. Um, I just go box by box. Um, some of this stuff is old. <laughs> and I may not remember all the names of who made all this stuff, but I'll do my best. Um, you guys ever heard of the Jersey Rig? That's what these are. These are old Jersey Rigs that I have from way back then. I don't know if they still make the Jersey Rig. They might. Um, it's almost like a Ned, um, a Ned type bait. You know, a lot of guys used to throw these back in the day. Um, some may still, may still throw them. Um, but these are jersey rigs, and you just kind of, guys used to wacky worm these. You could drop shot them, throw them really however you want. It's just a finesse bait. And I have other baits that are similar to that that I don't, aren't necessarily um, jersey rigs. Some of these might be zoom baits. Like I said, I'm not going to remember, you know, all the, the bait names and, and companies. Uh, but you guys, will, some of you guys will probably recognize these. And these are just a lot of finesse baits. That you could wacky rig around, throw on beds, throw around the shallow cover. You know, the French fries and stuff like that. This is more like a, a drop shot type bait. But that's what that box is. And some of these, I might never, I haven't opened these boxes in a while. And this is just uh, drop shot finesse baits, different drop shot baits here. Um, some of these I think are some Yamamoto worms. Just some finesse worms from different companies that you guys may have seen here and there. Uh, this is a missile baits uh, bait here. That'll drop a drop shot craw bait. This might be like a power bait worm. So just some different finesse type baits, which is you know what a lot of this is going to be, and from some different individual companies. Uh, let's see, make it comfortable here, since this is going to take a while. Please, I won't mess up the view of the video for you guys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not a good view. Change that a little bit. Actually, it was better. It was sitting up a little bit. Um, this is some uh, Bounty Hunter baits. Bounty Hunter Custom Baits is in Connecticut. This worm is one of my favorites. This Versa worm. I love throwing these. These are great. Just on net heads. Some different colors of those. This is some of their 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 uh, you know beaver type style baits. This I think is their Ned bait. I think these are all their Ned baits. I'm not sure if these are. I'm not sure if these are bounty hunters or not. They might be, or they just might be some random companies Neds that I had that I kind of just threw in here. But you can see some Neds, so some good finesse baits there. Like I said, Bounty Hunter Custom Baits. Check them out in Connecticut on their website or their Instagram. <clears throat> on uh, Instagram, you can all check out and on uh, online Riverwise Fishing. Some of their cool baits. Some small swim baits, some Neds. You know, you'll see a lot of Neds in this video. Different Neds company. Everybody makes a Ned now. But they have some nice colors. Nice Neds. I always like this, like this rainbow trout one. So that's River Size fishing check them out online uh, here's brett's baits from game on baits brett makes some nice stuff this is kind of a little bit of everything some swim baits some neds some stick baits all custom made by brett it's game on these are also game on baits check my youtube page the video i did a few years ago was bed fishing with these killing them killing it with this on the beds 
they smell like garlic. Oh boy, they're strong. Let me open this box. Finesse worm. Some craws there. That makes the whole basement smell like garlic. This is more game on baits. Had all those Brett's baits together. These are craws that he made for me. So a really nice custom baits. If you're looking for some custom craws, Brett makes some nice ones. It's game on baits. All right, let's see what we're here. Some of Eric's old tech baits. Now that Eric has retired from bait making, Pete um, Stillman and Son Lures is making them now. And this is just some of the, the stick baits that he made for me. Some more Neds, different, different um, custom colors that Eric had made. This is a combination of like the Ned Craw and just some, some more Neds. Can never have enough Neds. Do go through a lot of them. And this is the other box of just Neds. So those are all tech bait Neds. You can see all those different great colors. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some more finesse baits. And I hope I'm holding the camera right for you, not moving it around too much as I'm doing this. These might be venom baits. I'm not quite sure. I think these are venom that makes these. Like some Neds. I don't know if those are Venom, but I think these are. But they just might be. It might just be even these might be Venom. I don't know for sure. But just some stick baits, some Ned type baits, some little mini swim baits. You can put on a Ned head or a small bull head. Type. It'll drop everything all over the place. So just a couple of, uh, a couple of, I think I got some Neds on eBay from a company that made them for, you know, 100 packs that were pretty pretty inexpensive. So I got a bunch back in the day and just made some kits up. So like just tons of different Neds, you know, in some basic colors. Got two of those kits here. That's another one. That one's really loaded up. <laughs> got Neds? That's plenty. <laughs> It'll last you for a while, that box. Uh, let's see. Speaking of Neds. For, uh, these are from Wacky Worm up in Pennsylvania. Some make some great Neds up there. Some great colors that I like to use. So there's a box of them and then some of their more finesse baits. But that's Wacky Worm in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> that's all their Neds. Uh, the old Slider Worm box. You guys are Slider Worm fans. Great finesse worm to throw. This is one of the first baits I really threw a lot when I started bass fishing in Jersey. You can't go wrong with that slider slider worm on a slider head or any kind of head you want to use, even a Ned type head. Great finesse worm, the slider worm. For you old school guys out there. Try and get this stuff out of the way. So, And just some more finesse type baits here. Like I said, I don't remember who made those minnow type baits and those finesse worms. I used to use these drop shot and did very well with them. This is a nice little drop shot bait. These little like minnow type looking baits there. They're great for drop shotting. I want to switch it up a little. There's a box of those. And unbelievably, or not shockingly, <laughs> more Neds. Those might be the Bass Pro Neds. I think that's what the, who makes those. Looking at them. It could be more Wacky Worm ones, or it could be a combo of both. Because these over here look like Wacky Worm. But they could be that. This here thinner one is definitely the Bass Pro one. These are probably Wacky Worms over here. So that whole area there, as you guys have seen, is a lot of a lot of Ned bit, Neds and stuff. And I pulled these little boxes out. This is what they call that stingray worm. I don't know if you call it stingray worm or just the stingray grub. But if you guys in the know, this is a smolly killer. A real nice finesse bait to use uh, when you're out there fishing deep water. On a little Ned or a little mushroom head bait of your choice, but this will catch fish. And it's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a, guys kind of keep it secret, but I don't think it's as popular as some of the other stuff, but it is a fish catcher. So if you ever see those around, that stingray head will put some fish in the boat for you. Uh, let's see, I don't even know what's in some of these boxes. Let me get this camera. I think I'm making a bed. 
boxes are a pain when you're trying to film. Um, this is some of the, uh, the, uh, the Mega Strike Mega Bug, the small size, which is a really nice finesse bait. And that's what all these are. These are just that smaller size, with some different colors. That Mega Strike Mega Bug, which I, I love flipping the big one. But sometimes that small one can put some fish in the boat when you need it. Uh, I'm not sure who made these worms. But these are like shaky head type worms. But I had a box. It's a kit I bought years ago. I'm not sure who made those. But you see it came with the shaky heads over there. So, nice little... Maybe I have it. Maybe I have it. Oh, I do have it on there. Chompers. So those were chompers worms. I can't remember the name. Luckily, I remember to actually put it on the, the label when I did the box. So a nice kit. If you're looking for... Uh, it was a chompers worm kit. I probably got it at Bass Pro. Here's more of those. I think I got these years ago at Cabela's. I think Cabela's was making these. But I don't remember for sure. These like minnow type baits you know, for drop shot and stuff. But there's a kit of those. I haven't thrown those in a long time. Uh, here's the Nico rig box. I don't do the Nico rig a lot. I don't throw it a lot. But some Nico worms. I think those are Yamamoto's. I don't remember exactly who made these. If you guys are Nico guys experts, you might remember who made these. You see the shape, but I think it's a Yamamoto. But that's my just my my Nico kit with the the weights, the hooks, some of the weighted skirts. Keep it all in one box. But like I said, I don't do that a lot. I probably should try it more, but I've never really tried it a lot. Uh, let's see. Let me do go up here. Here's just some Zoom finesse worms. Uh, there was a few years when I was throwing the shaky head a real lot. And I was using a lot of these uh, Zoom Finesse Worms in different colors. And a Zoom Finesse Worm was always my favorite. You know, you can't go wrong with a Zoom, you know, 5-inch Finesse Worm. I think those, I don't know if those are 4.5 or 5. I think they're 5. Either one. But got lots of those. Great bait. Can't go wrong with that one. Here's more of your natural colors in the same bait. The Zoom Finesse Worm. Green pumpkins, your watermelon reds, watermelons, your June bugs, lots of cool colors. So that's a couple boxes of those. Here is a box. I saw this when I was taking it off the shelf that I can't remember who made these worms. I'm not sure. They're very cool. I think I got these at an outdoor show one year. Somebody was making them. So they might just be someone's, you know, personal concoction that they made. That might be that old bacon rind type worm. Some of these are just some worms I think I just picked up at outdoor shows back in the day. Just a random box of worms. They may see the water again one day, who knows. Big worms like that would be good in the summer for Carolina rigging and stuff. This is a box. This is probably the box, the worm box I use the most. This is the Charlie's worms. I really like that grape one, that grape black one. But these are all Charlie's worms. Very popular worm, very good worm, very consistent. That, that grape red, that June bug, the black grape, those are always my favorites. There's a box of those. Uh, the Producto worms, I got two boxes of those. It's a nice finesse worm. Hopefully, I'm keeping the camera where I want it. It's a funny problem when I do this. My knees start to kill me after <laughs> I'm doing these. Easier when I'm standing up, but I, if I'm standing up, I can't open the boxes when they're all on the shelf at the same time. But Producto makes really cool worms. And I think you can get them directly from them. I'm not sure who sells them if they got them on, like, Tackle Warehouse. I don't even know. I think I bought them when I did was using these a lot. I think I got a lot of them just directly from Producto. And I'm assuming they're still around because they do make such a nice worm. I'd be su surprised to see if they're not still in business. All right, let's see. I think this is more Productos. Yeah, these are the darker colors. You think I like the dark color worms? I don't know if I can tell, <laughs> but I like those blacks, those black grapes, those June bugs, those blues, those uh, red shads. And there might be some other. Those aren't like these are Productos, obviously. Just some random worms that fit in the box. Okay, let's see what we got. Let me move some of these out of the way. All right, um, 
guess I'll start at the front here again. This is some Robo Worms, uh, some of their nets, um, some of the, the, the Robo Worm for drop shotting, some different colors. Have a few kits of those. It's a, a worm I like to drop shot a lot in the summertime when the drop shot season is here, which is pretty much now. And here's some of the bigger worms, the bigger Robo Worms. Another box of those, different colors. There's Morning Dawns I like a lot, those blues. I got a couple boxes of those. These are culprit worms, very popular worm. Can't go wrong with a culprit, it's in different colors. Little combination there, the red shads, the purples, the blues, and some of the natural colors, the greens. So a little bit of difference, different colors there, combos and the culprit worms. Uh, let's see. I guess I could do these, these, these two boxes. Let me try and get comfortable here, if that's possible. Uh, so this is just going to be a complete disaster trying to do it that way. These are just grubs. So that's just a grub box. Grubs that I like to use for, especially for my chatter baits and my spinner baits as trailers. So that's a bunch of different, I believe, kalins there. And these kind of these old plain old boxes. I don't know if they still make this this model. It's kind of cool. It's like a it's got all the ones on top, and then you've got this the, the tray on the bottom. So I'm trying to hold that up there so you can see the different color ones. And there's they're not all Kalins. There's a mixture of Kalins. These are the ones I used to get at the outdoor show there in Jersey. Some different random grubs. If I saw the color I liked or the tail I liked. So a couple of those. Uh, same box, uh, just finesse baits. I believe this is that that Lunker City bait. I don't remember who made these. I don't remember who made these. That's an old finesse bait from back in the day. I don't know if Venom made it. I don't even know. I'd be guessing. Let's see what's on the bottom. I don't even. I don't remember. And this is, must have been me just throwing random baits. From random companies maybe some custom stuff just a bag i had here and there just throwing things together uh you know for one of those boxes it just has a little bit of everything some drop shot baits some flipping baits worms creature a little bit of everything just uh in, remember who made this crawfish injector gel so i guess you used to inject this into your worm i don't remember who made this but for some reason it's it's in there, <laughs> so it's probably been in there for years. Uh, so I hope I'm holding the camera not too wavy for you guys. Let me get up again so I can get a better view. Uh, these three boxes are the old standby for a lot of people, the old Berkeley Power Worm. And these, I believe, are like seven inch worms, six or seven inch worms, different colors. And then in these big boxes, underneath, I've got the 10 inch worm. I just really can't fit too many 10-inch worms in a regular box, so these big boxes. Uh, you can fit, you know, eight different colors of, uh, of the 10-inch power worm. And I always liked the red the red shad. The black with the chartreuse tail was one of my favorites. Like a grape one I'd like to throw. I mean, I like all of them. But I would say that that chartreuse black tail one was one of my ones I used the most. And here's some more colors of the Berkeley Power Worm. Been there for a long time. Some of them are even getting a little... I need to see the, the sun. That's some different colors you guys can see. And I have more on the shelf there. You guys saw when I did the video, but those are the ones that are in the boxes. And the last few. Now, for somebody who doesn't throw Senkos, I certainly have a lot. <laughs> now, when I first bought a Senko, back when they first came out, I was throwing them like a fluke. And I used to love that shimmy in action. But I realized very, very quickly that uh, every time I caught a fish, the bait was destroyed. So the Senko will catch fish. It's, you know, a standby for a lot of people. But you're looking at maybe one or two fish, and then the bait's probably going to be torn up. So I don't throw the Senko like, uh, you know, I don't wacky worm them a lot like guys do. Every now and then, I'll throw them around. But I'll twitch them around like a fluke and let them sink, like on a three-aught hook. Now, I can't remember the last time I wacky wormed a, a Senko, but... I guess if you're desperate, it's a way to catch some fish. Most of these, I believe, are Senkos. Um, there might be some Yum ones mixed in, some other companies. But you get it. So plastic stick baits, 
whole box of them there. I like those ones with that chartreuse tail. Those did well with that one. Uh, let's see. This is that, uh, that cut tail worm from Yamamoto. It looks like some Charlie's worms. A couple things of Charlie's worms, some cut tail worms. For you guys who fish up in New York, the Clear Lakes, that's uh, that one right there is a killer. Used to kill them on Sog and Dog on that color. And last but not least, some more stick baits. Some smaller size ones, not the, necessarily the five inch size. But looking at it there, I would say you probably have got some Yamamoto's uh, mixed in with some other companies. So a little bit of everything. So Senko's, Barclays. Uh, I, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just another box over there. So that was what was on that bottom shelf. And um, I hope the camera was at least steady enough. And when I was moving the stuff around, I didn't kind of make it so you guys couldn't see anything too well. So if, if I did do that and there's something you saw on there that I kind of glazed over, I didn't show you a good view of it, let me know. I can, I can show you again in another video. But that's it. That's the worm section. So as I go on here, it's going to take a while. Um, that's that section there is like tubes. Um, actually, this is more like like uh, plastic trailers and, and uh, frogs. This is more like tubes. This is all creature baits. Jigs over here. Uh, swim baits, flukes type thing. That over there is all Berkeley stuff and Power Team stuff. And I think that's it. Maybe some Z-Man, but the Z-Man stuff is there. And I think that corner is grubs and craws and over here is hard baits so i haven't even got to that yet and that those shelves are a mess anyway and then there's these containers that are full of stuff that i guess you know if you guys want me to show you i can show you there's the old cd collection fishing books and some other books but you guys have seen the basement uh tackle shop pretty pretty a lot i should say with with all the videos so i think next one i'll, I'll just kind of kind of work up the shelf and organize as i go along so the next one i'll probably do be a little shorter because there's not as much stuff on some of these other shelves but i will definitely have to pull all i'll definitely have to pull all of those uh um uh creature baits down to show you if i want to actually show you what's in the boxes there's no way i can do it while they're up on the shelf but that'll that'll be for another day um so you know if you guys like this kind of video and hopefully it's not like I said, I'm not shaking the camera around too much, so let me know. I'll, I'll do the rest of the uh, of the racks. It'll take a probably take a few weeks, but um, but if you guys like it and want to see what I what I got up there, I'll definitely uh, be more than happy to show you. Uh, but that's it for now. So um, you know, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.